Hello students, this is Mrs. T and I'm going to be your teacher for Sociology 2333 Social Problems this semester. This is um, a more advanced class than just Intro to Sociology where we look at certain issues in um, developed society, industrialized society that um, are deemed problems, problematic for Western culture in particular. We're going to look cross-culturally and how other societies perhaps um, address some of these issues um, differently than the way Western culture does, and we're going to look at theories and find out um, what some of the major thinkers in the field, how some of the major thinkers in the field explain um, the origins of these um, social problems, and so that is um, our focus this semester. So you have my contact information. Th this video is going to go over the syllabus with you and go over some of the um, some of the requirements that you're going to have to do in the class to ace it. I know all of you um, will make me very proud with your grades this semester. So we're going to go over some of those things in the syllabus and then there's two in this syllabus video and then there's two more um, short videos in the course logistics folder that you'll need to watch that go over the weekly assignments, the weekly points uh, that we get. And if you've had me for um, sociology or culture geography, you know, if um, this is a repeat class together, then you're already familiar with the weekly assignments that we are going to complete in class together. So here's all my contact information. I am located, my office is located on the south site for UAPTC, and so that's what this LRS means, Little Rock South. Uh, tw uh, 242 is my room number. You can find me there during these times that I have posted here. Um, this is my office phone number that I have listed, but I don't really use it very much. I use, and, and for a while there, um, it's been a couple years ago, but for a while there, uh, the phones didn't even work on campus, and so I got out of the habit of using that number at all, and uh, my cell phone number is listed in Blackboard, and actually you're required to text me um, before you take quiz one about course logistics because there's... Um, some information from the my response to your text. Not only text me before you take the quiz, but wait for my response before you take the quiz, because um, part of what I respond to you, I ask you about. You get points for that um, when you answer correctly um, on the quiz. So anyway, uh, make sure that you do that, please. This is what I have highlighted there. That's my physical office number. That's not my personal cell number. I don't put it on on uh, the syllabus because we the school publishes these syllabus these syllabi on um publicly and i just don't want my cell number there so it's it's privately listed for you in our blackboard shell you have to log in and and get that and you can text me 24 7. i mean that text me if it's two o'clock in the morning and you're up because this is an online class and that's just your convenient time when you want to do it text me um at that time if a question or a comment comes up um i'll be asleep most likely but if i get up in the middle of the night i'll always check my phone i'll respond right then i definitely get up by like six o'clock the following morning i will definitely respond by that time and so text me anytime um and we'll have an open line of communication constantly uh, between us that way. Um, but also, if you want to set up something um, face to face, uh, you know, these office hours are set um, just so that I can have something to publish so students have a steady expectation of when they can find me physically in my office. But if that doesn't work for you and you do want to, to see me in person, I'm available. We'll set up something else right? We'll either do um, virtual or we'll, you know, go to Starbucks or something, <laughs> you know, and have a coffee and we'll um, discuss whatever it is that you need to discuss. So um, this is social problems and on the syllabus you've got some basic information like the um, catalog description, the textbook information, the ebook is uh, linked in course content in our Blackboard class. Let me go back. I'm going to switch to um, to our Blackboard class really quick. There we are. This is um, this is our social. Let me it's start here. Let me click on that because that's what you'll actually see when you click on our class. You'll see all this information. I want you to watch the howdy video. You probably have already seen it before this. Anyway, um, all of the content that we will use in our class is always going to be found under course content. So I'm going to click there. 
And this link right here takes you to your ebook, which you have already paid for as part of this class. Um, I don't particularly care for digital textbooks. I like a physical copy that I can hold and move and smell and crease up and underline and stuff like that. Um, and if you're like me, you don't have to use that ebook, but you have an, an extra step that you have to go through if you don't want to use the ebook. If you don't want to, there are no consequences whatsoever for your grade if you don't want to use the ebook because there's no, um, the only thing we're using uh, online, if you want to use it online, is a textbook. We're not using any of the extra quizzes or any of that kind of stuff that comes with the textbook. You can use them if you want to, but none of it counts for points in our class. So if you don't want to have that ebook and you want to get your own physical copy of it from our local bookstore or from some online source or from your big brother who took the class last year, whatever, um, you have to, before the census date, that's the 11th day of class, I think it's something like August 31st or something like that, um, so before that date, you have to go by the bookstore and tell them you don't want it, and they'll take off the charges and all that kind of stuff, and you'll have to arrange to get a book some other kind of way. You do need a book, so get a book some other kind of way, okay? So, um, let's see. We also have learning outcomes for this class. We don't just come to class and have nice discussions. We have purposeful discussions that are pointed toward making sure that you develop some skills that you need in the outside world, not just in our class. And so we want to make sure that you know how to put concepts together. That's what synthesized concepts mean and analyze things and come to conclusions and think critically and all these different kinds of things that you see on our learning outcomes for the whole college. But for our class in particular, we're going to look specifically at, um, like I said at the beginning of this video, issues that in Western culture we see as social problems. When we have large populations of people and there are um, issues that arise such as crime or population or immigration or um, any of the other, you know, alcoholism, mental health, all of these different kinds of things are part of our um, social problems curriculum. And so we're going to look at the ways in which these social issues might not be just personal within the individual, but could possibly be um, a side effect or a byproduct, a consequence of the way social structure is designed. And so we're going to be looking at the potential link um, between those things. <clears throat> and so here are our course learning outcomes, these um, specific, measurable, achievable, et cetera, outcomes, these three outcomes you'll see on our course schedule that we're going to be focused on these week to week to week. We're going to move from, sometimes we'll be focused on all of them, sometimes just one, another, a different one. Um, but every single week in, in class, when you have to watch video lectures, like this video that you're watching right now, you have to watch video lectures that I make for you specifically, or sometimes I will find another producer, like TED Talks, for instance, have a lot of useful material that we're going to be looking at. Nat Geo has a lot of information that we're going to be using. And so sometimes I will curate a video that you need to watch as it relates to one of the chapters that we're on. And other times, every week, there will be at least one video of me um, directing the conversation and proposing different ways to think about things um, so that you can ponder and grow and learn and think critically and synthesize concepts and the kinds of things that we um, at the university want you to be able to develop so that you are living to your fullest potential um, after you leave us and move on to your um, external goals. Okay. So let me see, what else do I need to tell you? Okay, I have some specific class rules. This is an online class, so some of these things might apply more to you or, or less to you because these rules, I, I put the same thing out, whether it's a face-to-face -face class or an online class. So some of them are more relevant to you as online students, others not, uh, but they all apply. So they will apply to you. Um, also, this applies to you. Do your own work. We are focused on your mental development and your ability to think and to stand on level ground when you um, finish this class. And so do your own work. Um, I have always had a pretty strict penalty for plagiarism or cheating or collusion in my classes, and that's that you get an F in the class if it happens. And I have had to increase my... Um, 
explanation of what counts as cheating uh, in the syllabus because of AI being so prevalent in um, all of our lives today. I mean, it's so useful in so many ways, but what it's not useful for is completing your college work because it can get you in trouble. It can get you thrown out of college, actually, because if you um, are accused of, if it's proven, not just an accusation, if it's proven that you have used somebody else's work, that you have copied somebody else's published material, if you have stolen answers from somebody's test or something like this, if it is proven, um, then there's a mark that goes against you, unfortunately, on your um, transcript. And, and it will it'll follow you like when you transfer to some other place um, that other place will say oh wait a minute you know this this person has, has had a track record of doing you know these bad things so please don't do it I, I've designed the class to try to eliminate um, the desire at all to you know to go and get something else other than your own brain to do the work for you um, so just don't do it uh, that's not why we're here together we're here to talk um, about what's on your mind, what's on my mind, those kinds of things. And, you know, follow the textbook curriculum. Okay, and so we have four tests. They're going to be roughly, you know, after a month, we have four months of class. They're going to be after ba basically every month, at the end of every month, we're going to have a test, essentially. Um, the tests are not necessarily the same thing that you expect, like a multiple choice or an essay. There might be some multiple choice. There might be like a short response that I want you to give, but a lot of my tests are watch this video and then answer these questions, or uh, here's some issues, uh, here's a scenario that I described for you, match it to the theory that it, it corresponds to, that kind of stuff. And so um, it's more like of an activity-based kind of test. I just call it a test because people are familiar with that word, but it's more activity-based and you'll have like 10, 14 days to complete it in Blackboard. Um, they are uh, 100 points, so 400 points each. There are two other videos in our course logistics folder that cover the weekly reaction papers and the weekly quizzes. You'll notice I have weekly uh, highlighted there with um, asterisks and um, italics because they're weekly, but you don't have to do one every week. So that's, that's the caveat there. Oh, let me see. This needs to say 17. Let me fix that while we're here. There we go. Um, anyway, so um, there's weekly quizzes, there's weekly reaction papers, watch, they're, they total to 100 points each over time between now and December or between now and May, they total to 100 points each um, over time. And so uh, make sure you look at that and those other two videos to understand more about that and how you, how you do one. Here is a course schedule. Um, in a fall semester, I always count um, the fall break, the Thanksgiving break, as a week. So on my schedule, it says 17 weeks. This 17th week is a very short week. It's it's exams, like two or three days only during that, during that time. So if it's a spring semester, I'll always count spring break as a week. And so you have this itemized, so to speak, of what we're going to be covering when, what chapter we're going to be on, what quiz, um, you know, we're going to have that kind of thing. So anyway, this is um, there for you to uh, refer to and to make your own calendar of due dates and stuff because um, don't trust, I don't know why, but don't trust the Blackboard calendar uh, for due dates and things. I, I, I don't know why, but students always tell me the Blackboard says blah, 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 but your announcement says this and the assignment itself says this. I don't know why there's not like a link between all that stuff. I don't know why it can't flow that way. So make your own um, calendar of when things are due. And finally, let me tell you that I I'm scrolling past all this stuff, but this is general information that's on every single syllabi in the in the university. So please familiarize yourself with it. You are bound to it. Um, if you stay in this class or if you stay enrolled in the university in general, you're bound to all those policies. But I wanted to mention that even though the last page of this syllabus is called course agreement form, in my class there is no course agreement form that you have to print out and sign and email back to me or anything like that. You're going to take a quiz one in the course logistics folder and that takes the place of this course agreement form. And please notice the fine print at the bottom of every one of the pages of my syllabus. If you stay in this class past drop an ad, which I hope you will, it's going to be fun. Um, then you agree to all the policies in here. So I skipped over some pretty quickly, but you better not do it because you better read through all of it because you're bound by it. If you stay in the class, and I hope you will,
And please make sure that you watch uh, the other two videos in this folder before you take the quiz. There's some questions in there answered. Bye!